Ray Parler and Andy Brassel. Andy, best moves around the Football League, in your opinion? Well, there were some great ones on deadline day, and I just can't believe Cardiff got Bruno Aquile Manga. You've been he's, very excited about this I, one today. I have. Well, basically, he's a, he's a centre-back who could be playing in the top half of the Premier League easily. Uh, even he's someone who could be, you know, Why you know competition or, or, or back up. Is that just a, a genuine coup? Have they, have they stolen a march on the Premier League or well, a, a Premier I, he's just not clever enough to, to scout him? Well, I, I think probably, but also the, the, the ones who have had a look at him probably remember that, unfortunately, when he, when he got his cruise ship knee ligament injury, which was a while ago now, it was two years ago, it was in a challenge with Zlatan. So it, it sticks in everyone's <laughs> mind. So um, he, 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 was, he was stopping him from scoring in the six-yard box. But that's typical Coelho Manga. He's brilliant in the air, really strong, good pass through the ball, impeccable tackler. But only a year left on his contract. So that's why Cardiff got him for five million. I think they were just quicker to the punch than everyone else. And fair play to them because that is a signing that's going to get you in the top two of the league. Excellent. Good to see Vincent Tan's got other things occupying his, his attention, really. And he's not wasting his money anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Ray, what about you? What's the, what's the move that stood well, up Well, I look you? at my uh, old club, uh, Middlesbrough. Um, had a you know, little bit unpredictable start to the season. A couple of good wins, a couple of defeats. But they've gone in and bought a Vossum, uh, a striker that they're desperate for goals. And he's the man that, that, that can probably, he's got a, a really good... You know, he's will, willing to work. Mm -hmm. he, he's in the right place, right time, a lot of the time. And that's what they've been missing. So we've got a good midfield middle bar. So Vossen could be excellent. If you're looking lower down the leagues, uh, Mackinac, uh, Reading, Gantel, and all, and are trying mm -hmm. to put some money in. Very unlucky last season not to go up into the championship. But now they're going, right, this is our season. Uh, had a decent start. So, you know, that's looking at League One. But again, it's so competitive. I mean, everybody's trying to get these players in to try and break into that Premier League if you're a championship uh, team and uh, looking forward to seeing who really fits in quickly. Okay, no shouts for Ross McCormick, no? Well, it's, it's funny, we were talking about this with uh, reference to Falcao earlier, that a goal scorer covers a multitude of sins really, doesn't it? Yeah. And I, I think, you know, Vossen's a quite good example. He scored goals in, in the Champions League before. And, and Wigan getting Andy Delors over from France, he's really, really skillful. The sort of footballing striker who, who, who Wigan should be looking to get, he's going to score a lot of goals and a great finisher. Yeah, uh, Matt Smith as well. You know, it's yeah. a, a battering ram centre-forward built built for the Football League, mm. you know, you could do a lot worse than him as an option. Mm, that, 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 that's He's right. He's the one we discovered when we discovered that Sebastian Coates has the soul of a pellet in, <laughs> in, the, FA, in the FA Cup. Like, so definitely. He's, well, he's got, he's got a skill set, hasn't he? Yeah, well, uh, you know, my lads, AFC Wimbledon, got two good goal scorers in, in, in Matt Tubbs, who's, you know, going to score your goals in the division above, never mind League Two, and Adebayo Akin Fenwa, who's kind of like a League Two Ibrahimovic, <laughs> because you, you just belt the ball up there and he makes it stick. Yeah. I also think you've got to look at the players who sign new contracts as well. Troy Deeney sticks out. Yeah, he that's like a big he one. He was going to move yeah. to maybe a Premier League side, but now he's committed to Watford. They're going to try and you know get promoted this year. He's going to be so important as well. So players mm. who sign new contracts just before the window is going to be important. Okay, fantastic football league championship fans. Is there anyone that we've any glaring omissions to the players we've mentioned there? If you think so, don't forget you can tweet us at Ball Street and basically just give a stick for them as well for the wow factor. Di Maria. Falcao, so where where the Man United get in on? Falcao. Shop. Oh, yeah. Southampton fans rise <laughs> up against Andy Brassel. <laughs> <laughs>